What's going on, everybody? Tobin here with you. Thanks for checking us on out. Much appreciated. Hope everybody is having a fantastic day out there. And if you guys are watching this in the morning, the night, whatever it may be, thank you for cozying on up to the channel. Hope you guys could subscribe here and, of course, to uh, 560's page as well. Watch the Tobin and Leroy Show weekdays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I was uh, boots on the ground today at the Heat's house watching your Miami Heat in their red, white, pink scrimmage, which is to raise money uh, for Baptist Health. And it is a Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so always a tradition the Heat do. Fantastic job by everybody involved there. Um, and, and really one of their great events. They come out there with uh, doctors, patients, survivors, the entire team. Really, really cool event. Um, and it's always a, a, a thrill anytime you get to see it. And, and especially today, it was fun getting a chance to, to broadcast the game, we weren't really doing play by play. We were kind of riffing on a lot of stuff while the game was going on, but it was fun talking with my guy Solana, Tommy Tig, uh, getting to be on a broadcast with him again. Just a really uh, enjoyable night. And take it for what it's worth, people. I mean, like I put up the uh, the the highlights of this scrimmage and. Keep in mind, these guys are just coming off a very hard training camp where they're competing. This is a, a showcase. It's a show for the fans. The defense is not uh, locked in, although I would say it got more competitive as it was full of the younger guys. But when Tyler and Jimmy and Bam and Kyle and Kevin are out there, you're not looking at like the Eastern Conference finals on intensity. We're here to have a good time, folks. That's it. Um that being said, you know, like, look, I would say for me, by far, the show today was Jaime Jaquez. I thought that, um, you know, Tyler came out guns blazing and he was doing crazy. He pulled up from the fireball at one point uh, because he was just feeling it so much. So Tyler, the the word on him from camp has just been that he is been completely locked in that his intensity has been ratcheted up. Spo said, I believe, after the scrimmage today, the quote I read was, I did not do post game today just for uh, for the record, um, but I believe the quote I said is that he was he's expecting him to take a big leap and that he didn't even, doesn't even feel like he showed nearly anything close to what he's been doing in training camp. Um, and Ban was given some voice to this. Talked about this in the previous video, so I don't want to reiterate it too much, just that... Um, they just think he's becoming a lot more efficient with his movements and, and all that stuff. So the shooting was cool. You know, it was great to see Boy Wonder back on the Heat's court. Headband Boy Wonder. Um, looking great, man. So so I would say out of the, the stars, for sure, he had the best performance from the Heat. Jimmy kind of just going through the motions. He's out there waving to the people, doing the thing for the event. Same thing with Kyle. Uh, Kyle had a cool Kyle and Jaime got, uh, got connected on a, on a couple lobs together. So that was really cool. You got to see, uh, you got to see that connection and, uh, and Kyle really got him involved. Uh, Kevin love, of course, he was going to try and chuck down a big pass. Uh, but it went uh, incomplete into the stands, the, the typically accurate quarterback. It did not find his connection there. And, um, you know, I think that was pretty much it. Caleb Martin did not play. He's dealing with some knee tendonitis. Uh, Duncan Robinson was shooting the lights out. It was kind of like a shoot off between him and Tyler in the early goings. And, you know, then the next most, you know, I talked about this on the broadcast, but the next exciting thing was what were you going to get from Jaime Jaquez and Nikola Jovic? We were talking about, well, who are you more excited about? I said I'm more excited about Jovic. Um, I would say Hakez was more electric in this game. You know, we got to see some really cool alley oops from him. Then he was pulling up and, and hitting some big threes. So he really, I would say with Jaime, just felt like he belonged uh, and, and just kind of jumped off the page. I, I would say I think Jovic did some uh, some uh, some great things to get his teammates involved. I think his first play was an alley oop over to Thomas Bryant. So. Showing you that he he showed off the three ball a little bit too. We saw a little bit of him going coast to coast, especially when the young guys were in there. Um, so I think you 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 definitely got to see the whole diversified package of Yoich. There was one part of the scrimmage, one of my favorite parts was him and Orlando Robinson kind of banging it out and, and having it out down in the paint. And once you got all those guys, the young guys all together, it it definitely got a lot feistier and, and more competitive. I would say out of 
the young guys today or the guys who are trying to make the squad make a name for himself. And then this has been said and reported and it's accurate. Cole Swider, I mean, his uh, reputation of being a lights out shooter. He uh, he absolutely was that and more today. I mean, he was hitting pull up threes, corner threes, hit a three with two dudes in his face. At one point, got Nikola Jovic to bite, so he got three free throws. Cole Swider was every bit as advertised as a good shooter today. And I think as far as that's because I mean, I, I don't think that's not going to translate. He was uh, at one point, you know, got closed out, cut to the basket. I just thought that he played uh, – sensational as far as like oh you noticed him he's out there all the talk that was there during uh camp bam said uh on saturday out of the young guys who's standing out he said cole swider so definitely when you get to these preseason games and the heat on tuesday night we'll start off preseason action against the i want to say hornets they're playing the hornets tomorrow it's all been a blur today they are playing the hornets tomorrow and I would say when you're watching them against the Hornets, that is uh, definitely a guy you want to keep an eye on for sure. He has been uh, every bit as good as advertised from the shooting department for the Miami Heat. So 7.30 tomorrow, so that's when that action gets going. Um, but yeah, man, it was just a, overall just a, a great event. Like, again, I'm taking it with like a grain of salt. I'm not going to be here talking about like, oh, my God, uh did you see RJ Hampton in those two dunks? Like, no, I will say, you know, what's funny. The one thing I will say about uh, the young guns, one guy who I think is flying like way under the radar. And I really like as a player, I feel like every time we got a chance to see him or he got any minutes last year, you saw him in the G. I think Jamal Kane, man, I really think the world of that guy. I think Jamal Kane's a good player. Um, You know, plays with an energy to him. You know, got some length to him. He finished the uh, the scrimmage today with an off the backboard dunk. Obviously, nobody was dunk, but he put on a show for the people. And Kane Train, man, I, I just feel like he's got a little something to him. You know, like I, it, there's been obviously a lot of off season buzz with Jovic and Hakez and 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 Swider for sure. And um, but Kane, uh, there's something about Jamal Kane. Uh, he's got a confidence to him. I, I like Jamal Kane a lot. And would like to see, I know there's been a lot of buzz about RJ Hampton. The word from Spo um, on Saturday was that RJ was like the most disruptive guy, most deflections, you know, playing, doing a lot of that stuff in the margins, the heat culture stuff, which is a, a big way in how Caleb Martin got his name onto the roster. So, but I don't know if, if Jamal Kane is, uh, you know, gonna outdo that. And there's obviously a lot of talented, uh, there's a lot of guys I think people are excited about and you grab on to because this is a franchise where you really legitimately think that if there is a guy they like with talent as a heat fan, as a, as a, you know, media member who covers the heat, you have to look at every one of these guys and be like, I see what they see in that guy. Who's going to be the guy they think they can actually use in the regular season, who are going to be the guys that they think, little bit more seasoning and, and get going and you know I think uh with this game certainly Orlando Robinson had his moments I think that um we saw a lot of his shine in the uh in the preseason he looks like a more confident guy but I, I, out of the the guys you're expecting something out of with Jovic and Hakez I really thought uh both of them showed out in a, in a nice way Jovic showed, I think, a little bit of all of his elements. Hakez for sure showed the athleticism. His, uh, you know, he's been seemingly putting up nasty dunks no matter what court he steps on, whether it's Miami Pro League, Summer League, scrimmage, uh, FAU, just messing around in the gym. So he really, uh, I think, electrified the crowd in a big way. I wouldn't say that Jovic had the most electrifying game, but just kind of gave you a little uh, sampling of everything. Out of the big guns today, you know, Tyler was definitely the uh, the show there. He came out back on his court looking fantastic. But uh, I'm looking forward to the preseason, man. I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, I, I don't know how much we'll get of the vets in these games. I would say probably half the games will get some action. I do think Spo made note of this uh, to close out camp that he does want to work out this roster. He does want to reward guys with 
playing time. He does want to figure a lot of this stuff out. And so I think that translates to you're going to see a lot of these guys fighting for roster spots and trying to win them because I do think that Spo realizes, hey, we got some he, – he thinks that the team is deeper than last year. And I do – I do understand his arguments on that stuff, um, but there are spots to win, and there are roles that do need to be fulfilled and and figured out and carved out. And um, I, I mean, I think I got the sense today. This, I'm like, yeah, I, th- I think he's got a good selection of guys to try and figure that stuff out. I don't think that he's shorthanded in any way in that regard. So fun night tonight. Great cause by the Miami Heat. Looking forward to the preseason.